sugar. So I am going to do a divine counterpart love journey update for the month of August. So this will be for August 2019. If you haven't already, check out the July 2019 update as well. So I'm going to get like the overall energy between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So you can decide which part resonates for you and resonates for your counterpart. And then get like the overall energy between the two. I'm going to use a few decks for this reading and just get a little insight about what's coming in August. So we're going to start off with the overall energy between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in the month of August 2019. So I'm going to start out with the Energy Oracle cards. And I've already pre-shuffled the decks. What is the overall energy for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in August of 2019? So we have the sun. So this will represent the overall energy in August. And what I'm getting from this is that there will be progress for a lot of people that are on a soulmate, divine, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, journey. In August, um, the sun is such a beautiful card. And the sun represents the divine masculine. So some of the divine masculines may be um, making movement, making progress, awakening, and moving forward towards their divine feminine. And so it seems like the energy for August is definitely moving forward and in a better light. So next we're going to get into the overall theme for the divine feminine for the month of August. What is the overall theme for the divine feminine in the month of August 2019? Ooh, so we have man holding a heart. So this is beautiful for the Divine Feminine. It seems that, as I said before, there will be progress for some of you all in regards to your journey and relationship with your Divine Masculine. You will either be connecting more spiritually, energetically, or in the physical. So that is beautiful. So now we're going to get into the headspace of the Divine Feminine, and then I will continue with the divine masculine part so we kind of go back and forth so the next will be the headspace for the divine feminine so i'm going to use my uh, melanin messages cards the romance angel and the mini tarot deck for this portion so let's start out do one shuffle what is the divine feminine headspace for the month of august so we have reconciliation, someone for your past is returning to your life, and then release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So what I'm getting is that the Divine Feminine will be releasing old karmic situations, releasing old hurts, pains. And it seems like you're probably doing some of that now in the month of July. And that is going to allow that reconciliation with your Divine Counterpart. Um... As you release, as you heal, you welcome in a lot of love. You welcome in peace. You welcome in harmony. So I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. All right, so you can see the top portions of the cards. But the Divine Feminine will be healing and will continue to heal. That way, their Divine Masculine can come in. The Divine Masculine can feel the energies of the Divine Feminine. And if there is like the Queen of Swords energy or like cold-heartedness, the Divine Masculine might shy away. They might be afraid to come in and reconcile because they are afraid the Divine Feminine will not want to talk to them. So let's get a card from the, my Melanin Messages deck. The Headspace for the Divine Feminine. August 2019. So we have questions. So the Divine Feminine may be debating on 
what to do next in regards to career, school, potentially relationships. So there are some questions that may be presented to you in August or that may be finally answered in August. So that is something that will definitely be on the divine uh, feminine's mind in their headspace in the month of August. Let's also get one mini tarot deck card. What else do you have for the Divine Feminine in the month of August? So we have the Magician. So in the month of August, this is definitely saying that the Divine Feminine's headspace, you are creating, you are building and manifesting the things that you want in your life so as you are healing you are allowing that reconciliation to happen you are allowing your divine masculine to come in and feel comfortable to come in you are getting the answers to your questions you are creating the life that you you have dreamed for that's beautiful so let's get into the theme for the divine masculine for the month of august What is the theme for the Divine Masculine for the month of August? Ooh, this is beautiful. We have caring connections. So there's definitely a lot of you all that will be coming into union or getting close to union just because the sun is the overall energy between you two. You have the Divine Feminine thinking about her counterpart or, or their counterpart. And then you have the Divine Masculine thinking about a relationship and counterpart. So this is beautiful. I can say... Um, Things are moving along nicely within my journey and I can definitely see this happening um, for a lot of other people the energy is just beautiful right now in regards to like the, the twin flame or soulmate journey divine counterpart journey and even if you don't see it in your physical you can feel it energetically and spiritually so let's get into the divine's masculine headspace for the month of August this is the Divine Masculine's headspace for the month of August. Divine Masculine headspace for the month of August. We have children. And so what I'm getting from this is that this definitely resonates with the Release Your Ex card for the Divine Feminine. So I know some of you are like, what do you mean? Like, how does that connect? I'm getting from this card that the Divine Masculine is, he is healing their inner child. A lot of us have inner child wounds that we have not healed. A lot of us do not allow our inner child to surface at times. And so in the, the month of August, the Divine Masculine will be healing their inner child. Um, they may be doing it now. And as I mentioned, as you heal, they heal. So as you are releasing your old hurts and your old pains and clearing your energy, that allows the Divine Masculine to do the same. And that is why this love, this beautiful um, connection is moving along nicely because of this healing and this growth. So I saw the transformation card like kind of flip, but it didn't come out 100%, so I won't take it. But just seeing the transformation card confirms that there are endings of like cycles, karmic cycles, endings of like old hurts, healing. What else can you say? So we have romantic date. So in the month of August, the, the divine masculine will be thinking about taking their divine feminine on a romantic date. It'd be spiritually, energetically, that could be in a physical, that could be in a dream. Um, just take whatever resonates for your situation. They have been thinking about this for a while now. Um, they want to take things, they want to move forward. And what best way to do that with a date? And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Divine Masculine is definitely feeling that it is time to um, move forward with the Divine Feminine and, and take them out, show them that they are worthy of the romance and the um, just the romance and the love that they deserve. This talks about um, just you know mastery and like a skill. So they have learned how to better themselves and treat their divine master or their divine feminine better. And so what I'm getting from this is that 
they are kind of like planning a potential day so they might really try to woo the divine feminine and take them where somewhere different if you all have been on dates before and try something new to show that they have changed and that they are better all right so i am going to remove these cards so we can get into the heart space so i will keep these three here i'm gonna move the other one All right, so now we're gonna go back to the Divine Feminine and we are going to get into the heart space of the Divine Feminine. So we're gonna um, use the same um, cards and I'm gonna add on another deck to get a little bit more insight about the Divine Feminine and Masculine heart space. Oops, one of the cards fell from the top. All right, so. What is the Divine Feminine's heart space in the month of August 2019? Divine heart space. Feminine's heart space. So we have door to personal healing and happiness. Fifth chakra archangel Gabrielle. This is perfect. This is beautiful. This real literally matches the cards for the head space. So I mentioned before, the Divine Feminine is recently releasing old energies that no longer serve the Divine Feminine. They're releasing, you know, their ex or karma situations. And this is allowing the Divine Feminine to heal and to have that happiness, open the doors to happiness that the Divine Feminine has wanted. This is allowing the Divine Feminine to help the Divine Masculine with their throat chakra. So even though this came on the Divine Feminine side, it is helping the Divine Masculine with being able to communicate, with being able to express what they feel. What else do we have for the Divine Feminine? Heart space. New love. Beautiful. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This is bringing in the Divine Masculine heavy. This is allowing the Divine Feminine to heal and like I said before, open those doors to a new love. It doesn't necessarily have to be with the same person that um, you have interacted with it before it could be a new person but a lot of you all will be reconnecting with someone that you have known before that you have been wanting to be with what else can we say about the divine feminine's heart space Outcast. So what I'm getting from this is that the Divine Feminine would no longer feel as much like an outcast anymore. So if you see there's like one train, there's a shadow, she's kind of crying. The, as the Divine Feminine is healing, the Divine Feminine is allowed to no longer feel that way. Because you're going to bring in that love and that harmony that you've been wanting to yourself first. And then that allows the Divine Masculine to bring that in as well. Let's get a card from the power of love. Divine spin in the heart space for the month of August 2019. Respect. Beautiful. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. And not only everyone else's perspective, but your own. You are learning that you deserve respect. You deserve the love that you desire. You are putting those boundaries down and that allows that divine masculine to understand and respect you for that and that draws them in because maybe before you have let them not necessarily walk all over you but just take advantage of you and your love and now you are in a place where you respect yourself more because you are healing. You are learning to let go of things that no longer serve you. So this is beautiful. And then one last card. Month of August, Divine Feminine's Heart Space. Oh, so many wanted to fall out. We have five of one. So there's definitely less conflict and less just resistance to healing and feeling sad and feeling like you have to compete with yourself and others. You are letting go of the things that no longer serve you. You're not fighting anymore. 
And that's what the journeys are about. They're about healing, about growing. So this is beautiful. Let's look into the Divine Masculine's um, heart space for August. What is the Divine Masculine's heart space for August? We have Angel of Strength. Beautiful. And when I think of this card, kind of be like Leo energy, and August is like Leo and Virgo season. And the Divine Masculine is feeling stronger now. They feel the courage. They feel courageous. Like I said, as you heal, you are allowing them to feel courageous and confident and to say the things that they want to, to say to you, to allow them to express their heart, express their feelings, to move forward with this caring connection. So the Divine Masculine is feeling stronger emotionally. They feel that they are better equipped to express their love and express their feelings for the Divine Feminine and possibly take action and take them on the date or just offer them something. What else about the Divine Masculine? Well, here we go. As always, we always get the wedding card for the Divine Masculine. I'm pretty sure, like, if not all of my videos, when I do something with the Divine Masculine, the wedding card comes out. It always comes out. This shows that one, the Divine Masculine, for those that I resonate with, your Divine Masculine sees you as a life partner. They see you as someone they want to spend the rest of their lives with. And they want you to always know that because they continue to show this card to us. They are saying that even though I may have hurt you in the past, even if I'm silent now, you are the one that I want to be with. You are the one that I see a future with. So know that I'm developing and growing and becoming a stronger person. And at times it may not seem that way because I'm silent, but it's actually I'm actually doing things behind the scenes that you may not see. What else does the divine master have within his heart space for the month of August? We have the mask. So when I made this card, I thought about um, taking off the mask, no longer hiding, no longer being afraid to express how you feel. And so the Divine Masculine is taking off that mask now. They know that it is time to step up. So that's not saying that a lot of you are just going to immediately hear your Divine Masculine and say, Oh, I'm in love with you. Let's get married in August. That may be for some of you, but, you know, for a small portion. But it's more so saying that the Divine Masculine is taking off their mask in the month of August. And really um, step into that love and what they want. And here we have freedom and creativity beautiful they are as i said taking off their mask they're freeing themselves they're releasing the things that have limited them from experience love experience the connection with the divine feminine and the creativity it reminds me of like how i talked about how they're going to be created with the way they might approach you in regards to a romantic date they are showing they are a different person now they're not the same divine masculine you may remember them to be it might be challenging for some divine feminists to trust that but the divine masculine is asking you to see them in a different light because they are stronger they are they are moving along their journey and healing all right six of wands beautiful six of wands talks about victory and success so they are continuously moving into the direction of healing and moving forward with like this journey and this relationship now they may not necessarily show you all of this in the physical but behind the scenes and spiritually they are doing this work so this is great for their heart space for the month of august and so now we're going to get into the last portion of the video and that is going to be the advice for the divine feminine and the advice for the divine masculine so what spirit advises us to do in this time period okay what does spirit advise for us in this time period so i'm going to do this for both parties all right so i'm just going to use the energy oracle cards and the power of love cards for this portion all right what advice do you have for the divine feminine in the month of august 2019 what advice do you have for the Divine Feminine for the month of August of 2019? So many cards. We're going to take them all because they wanted them all to come out. All right. So the first card we have is the heart chakra, the first chakra. And the, the, the 
divine spirit is saying that continue to heal continue to open your heart chakra because this will draw in and bring in the divine masculine as you continue to heal you allow that divine masculine to heal and to come in next we have community so i'm getting you know allow spirit to help you and guide you the romance angels and even your physical friends but be mindful that you don't want to share too much with your friends that are in the physical because some things on this journey can be difficult for people to understand that are not awakened or are not necessarily on the journey so connect with other people that are like-minded and that are going through similar situations and then we have hostilities and the goddess of the moon so the thing is the sun i said that represents the divine masculine and the moon card represents the divine feminine so continue representing and being your divine feminine self um, embody that be that goddess that you are and then with the hostilities card i get two things so one i'm thinking of the king of swords so i'm thinking about communication so the divine feminine or masculine will be communicating with the divine feminine in august especially since 26 equals eight and that's the month of um, august which is the number eight so i'm definitely getting like communication vibes from the number 26 and then with the sword like king of swords energy but with the hostilities this is saying that don't be so quick to start an argument or get upset with the divine masculine about anything or just anyone period because you want to make sure that your heart chakra is open spirit is probably going to test you so be mindful of that so be gentle with your words with your divine masculine other people and just open your heart and allow that love to come in don't be afraid of it even though the divine masculine have have made or you know done things to you in the past they may have not been the best but know that they are learning, that they are growing, that we all make mistakes, and that we heal from them. So these, this is this message is for those that want to be in communication and with their divine masculine. So if you decided I don't, I don't want to be with my divine masculine anymore, then this is definitely not for you. But for those that want to, this message is for you. So let's get one more part of advice for the divine feminine. Of course, they gave me four after I said I just wanted one, but we'll take them all. So we have tolerance. We have peacefulness, so balance and kindness and love bring calmness to your soul, so that goes into the soul, the heart chakra. We have satisfaction, so just learn to be satisfied and appreciate what you have already. Don't think about the lack too much, okay? And then we have integrity, so that goes into like, you know, respect and um, just demonstrating your truth and the honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action so that is a beautiful way for you to bring in your divine masculine in the month of august so let's look at the device for the divine masculine i have a feeling they won't get as many cards as divine feminine i don't know why but i just have that feeling we'll see what advice do you have for the divine masculine in the month of august today? the, the world I'll get one more card just because the divine feminine had so many all right perfect in temple path so we have the world in temple path so what i'm getting from this is that the divine masculine needs to know that the world is theirs if they just take it on don't be an outsider don't think of all the things that you want to do and never do it divine masculine the divine masculine because there's so much blue represents like that that throat chakra so don't be afraid to say the things that you want don't be afraid to tell the divine feminine you are the, the one that i want to be with you are my temple path you are you lead to everything that i could ever want and ever need and when i look at this i kind of just think this is a beautiful place to kind of like have a wedding ceremony like the the um the bride and the groom or the groom and the groom or the bride and bride have you identify yourself and your partner could you know say your vows there just get married there just you know have a date in nature or in the park or something and let's get a couple more cards for the divine masculine for the advice we have willingness perfect you are able to compromise if the end result is love so the divine masculine knows that if they want to be with the divine feminine if they want this caring connection if they want this son this ten of clubs the, you know all of that they have to be willing to take that chance they have to be willing to 
take that leap of faith and go to what they want you can't if you if you are afraid you can't manifest the things that you truly desire because you are afraid you're allowing that fear to take over and block your blessings to come in let's get one more card for the divine masculine advice you have elevation you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration above so if they want to you know move forward with the divine feminine they have to elevate their energies and as they elevate their energies they can come to their divine feminine and so the divine feminine your part comes into play as you heal and as you grow and as you embody your empress and, and goddess energy you allow your divine masculine to elevate and vibrate their energy at a higher frequency and that brings them in you two work with each other energetically and spiritually to come together so there's never just one person doing something everyone is doing sorry about that my video cut off because i got a phone call but just wrapping up the video um everyone has their part in their journey has a role in their journey no one is responsible just doing everything everyone has to do something so as one person heals the other person heals as one person you know vibrates higher at a higher frequency that allows the other person to figure out how to do that as well and to see that another frequency at a higher vibration is possible so this is a love journey update for the month of august 2019 it was such a beautiful reading i am grateful that I was able to do this for you all. I really hope that you all resonated with it, enjoyed the reading, and just take everything slow. You know, you know, this is, I said this is for August 2019, but if you see this at another time in your life, that's when it's for you. So if it, if these things don't necessarily happen in August, it may happen in September. It may happen months from now, but don't, don't be afraid or sad if you don't see all of this in August. Just know that there are things that happen behind the scenes that take time to trickle down into the physical 3D world. So I hope this reading was helpful for a lot or, or for a lot of you all. And I will be back with more readings and pick a piles. And also I have my decks available on my um, or one of the websites that I use to print the uh, deck of cards that I have. And they are like my divine messages from the divine masculine or you can use them for your divine feminine if you're a divine masculine i will post a link in a comment in the section below to share that information with you all if you are interested in purchasing those decks thank you so much for your love and support peace love and light